So hopefully you were able to update to AngularJS 1.5 on your own after watching the video on updating to 1.4. So now we just have one last step before we start working in component architecture, which is to update to the very latest version. As of now, that's version 1.6.5, but even if you're watching this later, the process will still be the same. So the first thing we'll do again is create a new branch. So we'll type git checkout b update angular 1.6. Then we just need to update our package.json. And we'll change, of course, both angular and angular route. We'll run npm install again. And then we'll just go double check that everything's still working. I'll refresh the page with the dev tools open so we can double check the versions. And you can see we actually have a problem here. Something has broken with the routing with this update to the new 1.6.5 that we didn't have in 1.5. Hmm. Let me show you exactly what I would do in this situation. I'm going to open a new tab and simply search Google for this issue. It looks like there's actually a Stack Overflow answer that's pertinent to this. I scroll down and see what's happening here. And yeah, it looks like they're having the same issue. Huh, so the default hash prefix has changed from empty string to the bang. This is, um, this is a big deal. <laughs> uh, and it's a little frustrating that this would happen with a patch, but luckily there's a solution to it, which is that we can add this config block to our application to revert to the previous behavior. So let's go ahead and do that and see if it works. I'm back in our code and I'll open up our app.js file and I'm just gonna paste in the answer that was on the Stack Overflow page. And of course I've gotta modify this instead of app module to our own app module. So I'll say angular.module app with no dependency brackets and then the rest of the dot config. Now we'll switch back to our application and hope and pray that it all works. So I'm back in the application. I'm gonna get rid of all of this. So far, it's looking like it's working. Let me go back over to the orders. And we got really lucky. It turns out this answer on Stack Overflow did indeed solve our problem with the routing. So this is a perfect real-world example of some of the perils that can come up with updating. But luckily, most of the time, the internet has answers for us in the form of either Stack Overflow or other communities like on GitHub. So let's go ahead and go back to the code and commit these changes and merge them back down.